occurred the fact is 20 beers are sold that is my point of sale that is my my business so in a dimensional model fact table is the primary table because that is the revenue generator for you that is where the metric is for you that is uh, where wow, the quantity you sold is recorded so since measurement data is overwhelming overwhelmingly the the largest part of the data mart we avoid duplicating it in multiple places around the enterprise so measurement if you look at it the fact is not going to be spread it to any other table the fact table will be only one table period i mean if you are making note about a point of sale transaction it will be only in one fact table you cannot maintain the same information in more than one fact table that is not possible and is not advisable you are not going to make it part of a dimensional table no dimensional table will have only the key information about krishna uh, his educational qualification his age group whether his business measure as a fact as a matter of fact what you will say is as i told you the fact is 20 beers are sold that is the fact sun rises in the east that is the fact you cannot change it it's universal it is same way 20 beers are sold that is the fact who bought it where he bought it which store which region is secondary for you first thing is sell it so the fact is the business measure because you are going to measure it based on that you are going to maintain your inventory based on that you are going to maintain Uh, or or your shipping and uh, everything is based on your sales right so so we can imagine standing at a marketplace excuse me so we can imagine standing at in a marketplace watching products being sold and writing down the quantity sold and the dollar sales amount each day for each product in each store so the first thing is your product is sold that is the uh, measure you want then you will come with an analysis saying what is the quantity that is being sold how much we earn and each for each product how is it doing at each store that is kind of the multi dimensional analysis we would do but for that we need require the dimension tables in the fact table you will have only numbers guys right? if you look at a fact table you will be wondering you cannot understand anything in a fact table unless you have the dimension because it will have saying number 1 bought a product called uh, 10002 uh, on a date the quantity is 2 the unit price is uh, $3 per unit and the total amount is $6 that's all you'll have only numbers will be there in the fact table a fact table doesn't make sense without a dimension table a measurement is taken at a section of all the dimensions day product and store so when you want it to do a multi dimensional analysis you will have to capture the information based on at least these minimum three dimensions on which day the transaction has occurred you have the time dimension getting access there which product is being sold and which store sold that product that is the minimum thing which you are trying to identify as part of a transaction and the list of dimensions define the grain of a fact table and let us and tells us what the scope of the measurement is so whatever the dimension tables you are going to list will give you the definition of the fact as i told you without the dimension table around it a fact is not a fact because you can't understand it who will understand if you say uh the transaction number 1 which is a surrogate id let us say the transaction number 1 of the day which happened at 12 o'clock in the morning uh, uh store number 1234 has has sold a, a item number 2345 quantity is 2 and the unit price is 1 which is all numbers meaningless for you so you need to have dimensions around it to understand the most useful fact are numeric and additive such as the dollar sales amount so facts are divided into more than one types guys just to mention about them at this point there are few facts which are additive which are non additive and some are semi additive which means if you look at the fact you cannot simply uh keep on counting the number of units across a store because the number of units sold is for a different product so you cannot just uh, add on uh, add on the 
uh, the quantity but you can add the dollar amount it is an additive fact you can partially add the number of units but it is a semi additive fact it is not fully additive you cannot say today there are 100 uh, units sold meaningless right you will have to say today 10 units of milk is sold 20 units of soap 30 units of so and so is sold so it is a semi additive fact non additive facts you cannot add those facts together so we are going to look at what are those three facts and i just to tell you non additive fact is like if you have an average you cannot add it across because if you add 100 plus 100 plus 100 percent it becomes 300 percent but you in universe percentage cannot happen more than 100 if someone is telling 200 percent i can do it it's just a mere exaggeration but percentage is only 100 percent if you if you just sum it up if you show what is the what is the increase in the sales today you cannot say 300 percent saying like uh, adding across so that 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 you'll you'll call it as a non additive fact so a row in a fact table corresponds to a measurement a measurement is a row in the fact table so they are like interlinked see a row in a fact table corresponds to a measurement and a measurement is a row in a fact table all measurements in a fact table must be at the same grain the most useful facts in the fact table are numeric and additive facts so we want those numbers those numbers which you can add are the important facts the non additive and semi additive facts Uh, not much uh, not no we don't take care of them because we are not interested in understanding how many uh, how, how many units of uh, uh, of so of soap we sold we are more concerned about what is the total revenue generated by the uh, soap uh, sales today so that is the numeric amount and additive fact which you want this is the sample uh, daily sales or uh, sales fact table as i was telling you everything is keys we have a date key product key store key uh, quantity sold and the dollar amount if you look at a fact table it doesn't make sense for you because what can you understand by by saying a product key or a store key so let us move to the next topic which is our dimension table so even before i go into the point get uh, look at the bottom of the screen dimension tables are the entry points into the fact table so first there should be a mention in the dimension table else you cannot uh, enter into a fact table the reason why we say that is without being a product in your dimension table it cannot go make an entry into the fact table the reason is without knowing that whether the product belongs to your shop or not you cannot sell that so there should be a product definition and it should be made an entry into the dimension table before you enter the transaction into the fact table so robust dimension attributes deliver robust analytic slicing and dicing capability the dimensions implement the we'll come to the uh, two other points later but the first point is important dimension tables are the entry points in the fact table uh, keep that in mind and here is the uh, a sample dimension table product dimension table we have the product key product description that is important for us Q number, which is the natural key, the category description, the department description, package type description, what not. You have everything about it. If you talk about more of a customer, you have the customer name, you have the customer phone number, email address, age, uh, date of birth, uh, income, everything in one one place. In the same way, the product related information, even the size of the product, height, shape, everything is been. uh recorded in the product dimension table so that is the structure of the product dimension table now let us see the bullet points dimension tables are integral companion to the fact table they are they live together it is kind of a, a binding relationship if you want to have some water there should be a combination of hydrogen and oxygen period that's it they have to be integral or else there is no value for that The dimensional table contains the textual descriptors of business. Dimension tables have many columns or attributes. So, it is very informative that uh, I don't need any more explanation. I think it is more about the description of of uh, each product. These attributes describe the rows in the dimension table. 
so when you look at a row in a dimension table uh it it will uh, it, it will describe about it and also it will be associated to a fact which includes as many meaningful text like descriptions as possible so it is all talking about uh, the description of a product the more descriptive you are the more useful it is dimension attributes serve as a primary source of query constraints grouping and reporting labels that is the important point you are not going to query a fact table and find out what is the revenue generated for today not a simple query you will say what is the revenue generated today where it is a where class group by store where it is a grouping condition order by uh, order by store number you have an order by class that's a report label kind of thing so that is where uh, your report points into it will not directly go to a dimension table or not to a transaction table it is a report is a combination the delivery been made from both the uh, places so if we go forward we'll see a, a sample report actually dimension table attributes play a very important or vital role in the data warehouse so we'll look more about dimensions Dimension table often represents hierarchical relationship in the business. The same point is being communi communicated in, even in the earlier session. Always a dimension is hierarchical. If you look at the product, there will be a product definition, but under it, like for example, a product is owned by a company. Like Hindustan Labor Limited will sell you a product, uh, uh, soap. It is at the higher level, Hindustan Labor Labor. a limited will have more than one products each product is hierarchical again you have a soap sold by them under soap you will have different flavors one soap is strawberry flavor lemon flavor and other is a herbal soap they are all hierarchical if you want it to look by the product line you can also look at it so dimensional tables are more hierarchical in relationship in the business in our sample product dimensional table product roll up into brand and then into categories so brand is as i told you hlm category is the soap category whether it is baby soap or or uh, women soap or men soap that's a category for each row in a product dimension we store the brand and category description associated with each product we realize that the hierarchical descriptive information is stored redundantly but we do so in the spirit of ease of an use and query performance so why we store it we need the query to perform better when you wanted to talk about uh, a product by hindustan liver limited how is the baby soap doing forget about the rest of the soap you are going to maintain it at the sub category level not at the higher level of the category the reason is if you wanted to query you need not query at the higher level of hindustan liver limited only on single soap you can go to a soap type which is a baby soap and you can directly retrieve the data that is uh, that is available in the data warehouse we resist our natural urge to store only the brand code in the product dimension and create a separate brand lookup this would be called as a snowflake we will we'll, uh, actually have to look into the snowflake in a, in a in a different perspective what is snowflaking snowflaking is nothing but you are going to cut down the single dimensional table you are moving out of the snowflake here sorry star schema if you are having a product dimension you will also have one more dependent dimension on the product which is product line or you will have a sub category that is also a dimension table but it is only dependent on the product table not connected to the rest of the uh, world we'll see the model in a bit but snowflaking is again we are trying to normalize the data warehouse from star schema a star schema is a denormalized structure when you try to snowflake it the performance will be lower but that the business wants it the the model will a little bit change as uh, as a, a normalized database but when business wants it that way you'll have to do it